Hi, I'm Amy Shannon from Amy's Bookshelf Reviews. And I wanted to touch upon a very important topic. It's very important to me. And if you're a writer, it's very important to you. Well, that topic is book reviews. Um, one of the things that you really need to do after you've written your book, you're getting ready to publish it, it's pretty much all set to go and you have to make that effort and get your book reviewed. Now, if you're listening to this, you can go to my website, um, just Google Amy's Bookshelf Reviews and it'll just pop up. And then you can go in and um, read the requests and policies page and then fill out a form. If you're a legacy author, you already know all you have to do is send me an email. If you're a legacy friend, same thing. Legacy friends, to me, are representatives. Now, with me, well, with anyone, of course, if you review a book, you can't give it another review. However, if you review a book and then later you put it on audiobook, the, that audiobook can be reviewed. Um, and basically, you're not just reviewing it or having someone review it for the story and the content, but the narration and the quality and all of that kind of thing that shows up um, that's really important. Nobody wants to listen to a story that uh, doesn't have a great narration voice um, or the quality is poor. Um, most uh, audiobook publishers, even do it yourself, they have um, quality uh, control and they have guidelines that you have to meet. But aside from that, you really need to not just search book reviewers and there you go. Um, a lot of book reviewers, especially ones that are serious book reviewers and they will put their names on um, book review uh, directories. I um, recently started a, a directory page on my um, book review um, blog because, you know, once someone gets a review from me, then they'll probably want more reviews. The more reviews, the better. Um, and yeah, you know, um, good and bad reviews, it always happens. It doesn't matter if you are a best selling author and have 100 years of experience um, or you're new and you may get um, a bad review, uh, you may get uh, a review you think is bad, but not necessarily. My lowest star rating that I, that I give is uh, three stars. I do three, four, and five. Um, and usually I average on uh, four stars more than anything, but for some reason this year, I've been getting a lot of five stars and five stars for me are, are the ones that, you know, I only put the book down if I absolutely have to. And I'm a speed reader. Um, so if I am slowing down to really get into the story uh, and that happens, um, then I know it's going to be a, a five star. And the other thing for me is I, a, um, I like the unpredictable. As a writer, um, you know, sometimes because of the way the storyteller's mind works, you kind of almost figure out who did it or what's going to happen at the end. When it's something I don't expect, I absolutely love that. So when you're looking for a book review, you want to look for reviewers, for one, that have reviewed books in your particular genre. You don't send a nonfiction book to someone who only does reviews for paranormal or supernatural or fiction. Um, and even if they do a nonfiction, see what type of nonfiction. Same goes on the other side with, with fiction. If um, you, know, you don't send a romance novel to someone who only reviews books about vampires. Unless your book has vampires in love or whatever, 
Um, that's how it goes. So it pays to do your homework. Um, there are companies or book reviewers that charge for reviews. I don't charge for reviews. I accept donations. And if someone makes a donation to be on a particular position on a particular bookshelf, that's one thing. But anybody ask me for a five-star review and I'll pay you this amount of money? No, I'm very ethical. I uh, write reviews for um, unbiased and honest. And that's just how I am. And if it was gonna be lower than three stars, I would let you know. Um, and I know I say that a lot, but that's the truth. Um, also, when you are um, looking for reviewers, you might want to, uh, if you think, oh, this person or that person will review my book, um, that's fine. Don't rely on friends and families to write reviews. If your book is on Kindle and someone reads it on a Kindle device, at the end, it will ask you to review that particular book. But if you're reading it on paperback or you're using an app on your computer, there, that feature is not there. So people may not remember, oh, I, got, I should write a review. A lot of times people don't bother writing reviews unless they're uh, terrible for some reason. Um, and when you do look at your reviews, um, you know, look at them in a way to see if there was a way you can learn from it. Um, if someone gives you negative feedback and it's um, demeaning, then it's their problem, not yours. Um, sometimes it's just an editing thing or um, you know, or they don't like the story, or maybe I've heard some that wrote uh, bad reviews and they didn't even read the story. They just didn't like the fact of the content of the story or the subject of the story. Um, and uh, so that's something that you might want to, you know, think of when you read that. I had someone once um, give me a four-star review and the only thing they wrote was, okay, didn't learn anything from that, just that my book was okay. Um, but anyways, it's um, about, you know, if you're gonna buy a car, you're gonna buy a product, especially online, you're gonna look at the reviews written for that. Same thing goes for book reviews. And I know there are things that like, if you hit 25 reviews on Amazon and then you hit 50, it puts you in this new, category or level. Um, I'm not sure how that uh, works. I've only heard about it. Um, but think of how these reviews can help market your work. Um, I have had my reviews quoted and they've been put on book covers or inside covers or um, just says, you know, five stars by Amy's Bookshelf Reviews. Uh, if you get a review now, I give you, um, and you got a four or five star review, I give you an image so you can do what you want with it. It's transparent with, you know, the number of stars and my name on it. Um, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't put my name on it. And every review ends with my name on it, Amy's Bookshelf Reviews. So I like it. I like to read, but also make sure that you are getting other reviews as well. I can make some recommendations and I put them on my website. Um, as I make contact with more people, you know, I ask them if they do reviews. Authors make good reviewers if they have the time. Um, I was an author publishing my last book in January um, due to some health problems, uh, but I'm still reading. And that is my gift to you. And your gift to me is allowing me to read your work. I know it's not easy handing over your baby, your, your manuscript um, to someone to read uh, because you put your heart and soul in that. Uh, 
but I understand. So get a review from me and then look for other reviewers um, or you could pick me last, <laughs> whatever works for you. So um, get your books reviewed. And if you have books that you've uh, published in the past and they don't have a lot of reviews, you can, you know, get those reviewed. Um, you know, ask someone to review them, you know, if you are on somebody's list, ask them if they'll read your older books. I will. I'll read everything that you write if you send it to me. So, uh, again, this has been Amy Shannon from Amy's Bookshelf Reviews. Um, stay healthy and be well. Thank you. <laughs>